Hello and welcome back to Let's Play The Witcher 2 Assassins of Kings. I'm going to try and talk to Stennis again and see if he'll give me his blood willingly. Get out! I guess not. But anyway, I found out that the Harpy contract right now is uncompletable. So there is no point in me even actually trying right now because I need to continue... Sense magic? Oh no, I can't remember what the name is. Hunting magic. Yeah. So I need to come, uh, well, not necessarily complete, but at least continue a uh, sense of magic before I can do anything about that. Uh, I went to the long, wrong place. Uh, where's just Marigold? Philippa! I've already actually talked to her. I, when I went, oh, no, I'm not failing that quest and then came back. So I'm going to talk to her in exactly the same manner and just skip her dialogue. Because you've heard it already, I've heard it already. It really doesn't matter. So. Ooh, Philippa! It's only what happens after that that we'd really actually care about in this case. Like fucking a cat with an anvil. What? Like fucking a cat with an anvil? Yes, yes, yes. What We've it, seen this before. We've heard. Uh, what are you doing in it? Or just in case this actually affects anything. Uh, yes, I heard okay. Saskia killed a dragon. Uh, she lived the towns of on Hensel's side. Who's level? Uh, I'm interested in the wild hunt. Uh, I found notes from a scholar of the hunt. There's proof that the wild hunt is a vast accumulation of the power. Something that would interest mages, you'd think. To the mere mortal, <laughs> anything that is not immediately comprehensible is suspect. The product of a conspiracy. Hmm. And where there's a conspiracy, well, it's obvious mages must have hatched it. I'm a mortal, though probably not a mere one. I found the notes of a man who spent his entire life... Paranormal phenomena interests Cynthia, my uh, intern. Take this up with her. Okay. Well, I guess we'll look into it. Uh, I've got this tattoo. Know how to remove a tattoo. There's a cure for everything, except stupidity. <laughs> Just shut up Only and some green mold, white... I'll be back. Um, I'm looking for Triss. I'm looking for Triss. Letho. Full tests. Yes, Set. yes, Triss. yes. And I Can you? The mega I've got. We've already talked about this. Why would Two of yes, wouldn't be there. We Letho. go. What about she? Come on, there we go. Uh, Sheila she ordered Letho and Triss killed. She must have meant. Are a miss on. Maybe. I need. Yeah, sure. What's you going on out? Let's see. Yep. Uh, we were almost Help. done. With all this skipping, I'm sorry about this. Uh, it was only a matter of time. And there we go! Right! Now we can continue properly. Oh, we leveled up! I guess we can continue because I'm going to level up. I want to level up. So, uh, no, I want vigor. I very much want vigor. It'll be immensely useful. So, we'll grab Vigor, and we'll carry on. Because, come on, four. Four is just going to be exceptionally useful. And it means that each one of them are, is worth less than they were beforehand. So we don't have to worry too much about uh, activating Quinn, and we won't be uh, hurting our DPS. You're stupid. She just fell You're stupid. <laughs> Indeed she just the does. The claim it's our prince's doing. Serfs and lords will never be above their station. Really? I Humans only care how their asses rise as their stations, stations do. Wants to drive They're playing into Hensel's hands. If they start at each other's throats, oh, okay. we'll have to face the entire might of Cainwin alone. You can't mix water with fire. As I see princeling like Saskia could. Guilt and you see what they did to... No, okay. Well, this should be interesting. I think there's some time... Uh, talking, so the I'll commoners have to claim Stannis is involved in Saskia's poisoning. They're looking to slaughter him. Uh, what's stopping them? What's stopping them? The knights, a dirty and noble lords. Not easy to raise a hand against a blue blood. <laughs> a peasant by the name of Calton was at the council. He didn't seem to respect anything or anyone. Calton's a blackguard. He'll use any excuse to raid and plunder. He has a taste for noble blood. They say he buries gold looted from the lords in some gorge. Oh? Looks like things are getting nasty. Hear me! 
What do you want? I'm Skill and Balden. I keep order and Vulgan. Are oh, doing a nice job then? <laughs> Where was you when they poisoned Saskia? Right Give next door. Give us the prince. Get the flails. Stop. Jorvath. Squirrels. Everyone who wants to leave this yard in one piece, keep your hands off your weapons. I don't care if you're a serf or a lord. I'll kill you all if need be. What's going on? The servant carrying wine during the feast said that Prince Sternes and Olgan poisoned Saskia. We want justice. Okay. We want revenge. It's not the same thing. Yeah. We don't care. Saskia's fallen as if dead. Well, the poisoning prince and noble lords rush to herd us onto the field and sell us to Henselt. We won't let them! You lie, Carlton. Nobody's being sold out. The poisoner must be caught and tried by law. Your yeah. law? What then? He'll pay a fine uh, and get spanked hmm. on his ass? We'll spank him, all right, with an axe to the throat. Where's this servant? Safe. The square tail keep an eye on him. Mm -hmm. Why is the prince hiding in his house if he's innocent? Enough! I'll shoot the first to reach for a weapon. Then heads will start falling. There's more of us. You can't kill every... Then you'll be first. <laughs> now back off! We need to act quickly. What's your plan? What's your plan? I'll frighten them a little. Bleed them if need be. I'll buy you some time, but be swift. I can't hold them off for long. Question okay. the peasants and the nobles, and talk to the dwarves. Maybe you can get to meet Stennis. Even if he's guilty, I'm sure he's prepared a suitable story. You'll know how to sort the sheep from the goats. Also, find the servant who started talking so suddenly. You won't have time to talk to everyone, though, that's for sure. Humans only care how their asses rise as a station. Okay. Uh, They're playing into Henselt's hands. The if they start at each other's throats, we'll have to face the, the entire amount of Cadwin alone. The squares out here is it not? Oh, whatever. Hi. Can we have a word? Why not? I'm Ogden, a founder. I cast mugs, plates, chalices. You need any, Witcher? No, no. thanks. The tableware in the council chamber is your handiwork? It is. Made it back in Mayor Farragut's time. Since then, each and every goblet has hit the floor dozens of times, and what happened? <laughs> Nothing, because they're steel. <laughs> My yeah, goblets okay, that are does indestructible, make stronger. impervious to both the fury of sovereigns and servants who are all thumbs. Saskia's chalice was new. <laughs> Aye, it was. Back in Mayor Farragut's day, a venture Saskia was no more than an itch in a da's britches. Um, who commissioned the goblet, anyway? Actually, anything unusual about the goblet? Was the order for a normal goblet? Not a chance. It was supposed to be a gift. I ornamented it richly, even on the inside. Hmm. Not terribly practical, that, as it's hard to get clean. Some scum is bound to remain. But I wanted it looking downright regal, worthy of our Saskia. The so other chalices great, were but... not ornamented hmm. on the inside? Of course not. Uh... Who commissioned the goblet? Who ordered the goblet from you? That goblet was a gift. A way for the folk of Bergen to pay tribute to Saskia. I got the honor of casting and presenting it to our lovely leader. The last liked it so much, she's not used any other vessel since she received it. Hmm, interesting. Uh, by any chance there were there two identical goblets? Any Pinterest? chance there could have been two identical goblets? Why, there's no craftsman that comes close to me in Bergen. Could someone have tried to copy your handiwork? I know of one who's been trying for years, but he's a fumbler, a screw-up. He's not produced one decent vessel. They all look like the work of a drunken <laughs> elf. Thorax, his name. So I guess we'll go and talk to Thorax. See you at the inn. We'll grab a beer. This is uh, Askia, kid. What would the prince and you see what they the did to her? Death? I can tell you what he lost with her life. Power. Can we have a word? Murders in the air. Mm-hmm. Oh no, that wasn't meaning to talk Guilt to you. Guilt must be proven. Otherwise, can we have a word? Oh, Please. okay. See you. So you're basically ahead of that someone's group. Someone's taking care of it. Um, if I remember right, if you approach them too closely, then they'll just. If not work. for that damned Yorvith, the serfs would probably be hanging the prince by now. Oh, we have to go and talk to these guys. 
I heard. Shut your trap if you don't know what's going on. <laughs> I heard Charrot! Yeah, stupid prick! No, um, hello there. Uh, you? Uh, did you make Saskia's goblet? Anyone order an exquisitely adorned goblet from you? I get the occasional commission for tableware, sure. But what exactly are you talking about? Saskia's <laughs> goblet. Was that your handiwork? That ugly bucket! <laughs> did you intend to offend me? Whoever made that thing should be whipped! I certainly hope Saskia orders her vessels for me next time. <laughs> if she gets a chance to order anything again. Oh. Wait for events to unfold. Hmm. Okay. Maybe it's just a sleep. Ah, da 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 da. Where's Swiss Medical? Royal Blood. Find out more about the chalice and opinions. You don't have much time. Okay. Then I heard a squelch, and Cecil, gravely serious. They carry you associate with sorcerers. Give us a kiss. Would you look at that, friends? Oh. Geralt of Revia. Coincidences do happen. Hmm. Greetings. Do <laughs> you don't know me, but I know you. I'm an employee of <gasps> the, the Valdes. I'm on business here. I'm to check up on the local mine's profitability. Okay. Vivaldi doing all right? Full of beams. And as per the instructions given to each of the bank's agents, I hasten to inform you that you have unlimited credit. Oh. Hmm. I could use a loan about now. Sure thing. However, my means are limited. I can offer you the standard short-term loan for those working in high-risk professions. Will that do you? Um... Vivaldi knows me, does that get me anything? I'm sure Vivaldi wouldn't mind if I borrowed a bit more than that. <laughs> it's nearly all I've got on me, but I'll manage somehow. <laughs> eh? That's a witcher, not a human. <laughs> so, no oh yeah, I forgot about that! Oh, we got a trophy from the guy, right? Nope. Have fun! <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm just gonna wear it for fun for a little. Oh, just because it looks bloody ridiculous. <laughs> oh. Who will the witcher oh, uh, mm, The princes are there. coming, me thinks. You're in my way. Good. Bloody oh, bastard poison the barges. Greetings, Gwynblade. Hello. <laughs> Oh, what's Philippa doing what could Philippa want? Oh, oops. Why does she care about like quite a my mistake? I she think we've already asked the these questions, that, and that's why I can't. Uh, yeah, we've already asked that situation. Anything changed? Yeah, not really. The peasants keep hollering. The noblemen stubbornly guard their chieftain. Hmm. Hmm. Sultan, bad. Witcher, come the over peasants here. are furious. They finally have a chance to strike back for all the wrongs. The noblemen won't yield. They're a cowardly mm -hmm. lot. They know their heads will fall <laughs> Dennis's. It's a deadlock, with the prince's guilt still to be proven. Yarpin says it's someone from Edom. Sheldon, on the other hand, would shave his beard if it's not Hensel's spies. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Oh, why would Hensel do it? Why would Sheldon suspect Henselt? He'd sooner reach an agreement with Stennis than Saskia. Hmm. Her death would be very convenient. Zoltan? I'm wondering how anyone could manage to poison the wine. Saskia's a quick-witted lass. She doesn't let just anyone near. Someone she knew must have done it. Hmm, interesting. What Edern? What uh, Derny could Has have Yarpin done Has Yarpin got any evidence? No, Yarpin's an old cook and says he's got a feeling. Plowing soothsayer. <laughs> he might be right with those feelings. After all, not just anyone can pass through the Wraith's Mist. It has to be someone local. <laughs> so it never crossed your mind that Henseld might have sent someone here before those ghosts appeared. Okay, uh, anyone talk anyone to the Anyone reach the prince in his chamber? Not even close. The nobles guard him like a matron does her ward's hiney. <laughs> if the rabble slaughters the prince, there'll be no stopping them. They'll start doing things their own nasty way. That's why the nobles will support the prince even if they believe he's guilty. I'm sure Stennis's hands are dirtier than a peasant girl's fucked in a barn. Well, um, see you later. Give us this whole power! 
Rolling dung, you surly Who wanted my attention? Was Say, it you? Wisha, come over here. It was you. What do you want? We of noble birth always had to protect the plebs from their own stupidity. Mm. If not for us, the world... I don't have time to listen to songs praising the nobility. Yeah. Know anything on the attempt of Saskia's life? Know anything life? about the attempt on Saskia's life? No, I don't. But whatever the truth, the mob cannot lynch one of royal blood. So truth means nothing to you. That's what makes us different. I didn't hmm. say I don't care about truth. Just keep in mind there's a world order that mustn't be destroyed. An order that allows injustice. If the prince turns out to be involved in this attempted murder, he should face a tribunal. Yeah. The rabble doesn't understand the principles ruling the world. Or they do understand them and simply don't like them. Saskia is a wise woman, but there's one thing she doesn't take into consideration. This war will be over one day. Who will sow the crops and milk the cows then? Saskia called the serfs to arms. Do you think they'll want to plow fields again? You may be right, but it's certainly not my business who'll plow your fields. Farewell. Save your threats for your hog smell. Get more opinions who don't have much time. Um I'll take that leather, it's useful. Why is he lingering about? Like the stench in a dwarven harbour. Oh shut up. Those witches be <laughs> saving gold. This one's sure to say the prince is innocent, then sting Stennis for a pouch. <sighs> you better search for a lad who served the virgin instead of pissing around. Yeah, once then with the prince, he'd better take care of the magnets. Throwing their weight about too much they are. Uh, did the prince have access to the wine cellar? The prince stood right next to Saskia during the council. Did he have access to the wine cellar beforehand? How should I know? Why well, flap your mouth then? The prince is a wealthy lord. Bribing a skivvy to poison the wine is nothing to him. Just because someone can afford gold teeth doesn't mean they'll pull their healthy ones. Exactly. Uh, what is What's it really about? all about? Who's backing you? We want justice. No. We don't need no one backing us. We want vengeance. Us. We knows what to do. How would you punish the prince? If a lad counts hens wrong, he'll be flogged. What should we then do with a man poisoning others? You're gonna kill him. him. A land without a ruler is a nightmare. We have a ruler, the Virgin of Eden. It's not certain she'll live. Then we'll choose another who will manage. But he must be one of us lads. That way he'll understand us. Mm -hmm. And all people is gonna be equal. Our way. And the non-humans? The only issue. We have enough dung on the fields. Let non-humans find a non-human wow. land. Wow. Get away with them. Oh, bloody hell. So much for equality and likes. You know Saskia's servant? Willy of the Oblates. He handled the wine, indeed, but loves the virgin like a sister and mother put together. Hmm. He'd gladly get quartered for her. Where's this Willy of yours? Hiding in his shack, afraid of them lords. Squirrels guard him. Okay, we should probably go and talk to this guy. Farewell. Give us this whole power! Rolling Talk to the suspected down, peasant. Okay. Serfs and lords will never be on the same side. If not for that damn yes, 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 lord, yes. the serfs would probably be hanging them. The serfs would probably be hanging them. The there goes the PC. Uh, yeah, I just need to talk to you. Woman, I've been looking for you. I don't know you. You caused Aww. quite a commotion. How sad. Afraid of something? No, nothing. Mm -hmm. You're lying. I didn't do nothing. Didn't say nothing, don't know nothing, and didn't see nothing. Um. Tell me everything you know about the attempt be on Saskia's enough. life. My nose tells me. <laughs> I heard the priest talking with the prince. This goody goody said the virgin is really a beast under her fair skin. What priest? Olcan, the one killed. So there's no way I can check if you're lying. I swear on my mother's grave, I speak the truth! What else did you hear? Tell me! Um, I was put in Saskia's room in order when the priest came to the prince's chamber next door. It wasn't speaking loud, but I heard the priest say, Just clear the servants from the kitchen. Nothing more. Hmm. Reverend Olkan, only he could tell you how it was. Beginning to end. The dead aren't very talkative. What Indeed about what they, they leave behind? There may be clues or some such. Maybe. Maybe. What should I do? Oh, how nice. Okay. Ah, uh, get more information or ah, uh, find the priestess. Ask Cecil Burton for help. Ah, uh, Cecil, where are you, Cecil? Ah, uh, let me think. 
Where is Cecil going to likely be? He's probably likely actually back where these guys are. Cecil, are you Who here? Will the witch has ah, bugger. Enough of this charade. Try to be reasonable, folks. Sit down and talk in peace. We've talked enough. Come on, lads, let's drag the prince from his oval. Vergen's not a cesspit for anyone to shit in. There are laws to abide, and Scalen Burden's job is to uphold them. Oh, There's no there. law allowing a serf to threaten a king's scion. Oh. I, Silgrat, brother of Seltkirk, the greatest knight to walk Edernian land, say so. Does it matter who was born in a castle and who in a pigsty? Any fool can prejudge and condemn. It's easier to accuse than to prove guilt. A peasant servant claims that Prince Stennis supposedly attempted to kill Saskia. Why would the prince do such a dastardly deed? Bear in mind how eminent is his lineage. That's why the mongrel covets the crown. Mm -hmm. Do you even remember how valorous he was towards Saskia during the negotiations with Henselt? Pretending to be with her, he was, sly fox. Taking the simple peasants in. No, he That's hasn't done so well, dumb I as you lords think. Done that, I See for yourselves how the commoners hate the prince, spitting venom like adders. They hatched a plot to dispose of him. Saskia's servant said that... Where is this servant, might I ask? If he's got something to say, why does he hide like a thief? The answer is simple. He's a fraud. He's hiding to save his skin from you, horse hands. Squirrels have to guard him. One last question. How could the prince poison Saskia? It's a known fact that servants taste wine from the barrels before the virgin sips it. No need to poison the wine. Smearing the poison inside yeah. the chalice would be enough. I never heard of anyone poisoning a chalice. You haven't heard much then. One of the Emperor's forebears died after sampling some lamb. He was always scared of poison and ate supper with his cook. The murderer spread poison on one side of a knife. Then he cut the meat so that only a small piece mm -hmm. was poisoned. The witch is right. Give us Stennis. Saskia's got her own chalice. It was commissioned from one of the dwarves. The order came with a very detailed drawing. Even so, how did it come into Saskia's hand? Hmm. Good question. A good point. We can't be sure if the prince poisoned the wine. Stannis is blowing hot and cold. Everyone knows that. You were supposed to prove his guilt, not insult him, yokel. Tell us who else would do it. A peasant wanted to hurt the miss? Never. It's cause of her, you noble dogs can't ignore us. Well, a priest. A pig won't cut its own throat. A peasant's not foolish enough to raise his hand against his savior. Perhaps it is no peasant's deed. However, that doesn't mean the prince is guilty, fool. <gasps> Answer me this. Was not Stannis' room next to Saskia's? Do not the wines come from his own lice-ridden cellar? Can he not enter the Virgin's kitchen at will? Yes. <laughs> his serene dumbhead, the Prince Khan, curses on his kin. Nobody in Vergen wants to kill Saskia. And even if they wanted, nobody but Stennis could do it. You're hmm. wrong, Colton. Reverend Olkin wanted to get rid of Saskia. Indeed he thought he she was a monster at heart. Olkin was on Stennis' leash like a dog. How dare you, lout! Do you imagine if someone sits next to a married lady, he's surely fucking her? The priest <laughs> tried to convince Prince Stennis to join the conspiracy. Is Stennis some dimwit foundling that he dances to a lousy priest's tune? Olkan got what he deserved when Hensel cleaved his head. Now it's Stennis's time. There is no proof the prince agreed. The priest asked him for admittance to the kitchen. So he didn't poison the virgin himself, but allowed her to be poisoned. That's guesswork, yeah. Those are just words. Too much guesswork and not enough evidence. You can't convict anyone based on that. Your Highness, this is dangerous. I am not afraid. Fear is a commoner's trait, unfit oh. for one with royal ah, blood that's running why in his I veins. Wanted bloody kill what do you want to dead. judge me? Is a prince a common thief who steals a dozen eggs at the market? <sighs> you stand before royal majesty. And you raise your hands against it. Arrogance In this is world, what there I are crimes like. that can be forgiven, and crimes that, by any means, cannot. Just as a mother killing her own child or a man slitting his own brother's throat cannot be forgiven, a crime against one anointed by the gods themselves also cannot be condoned. 
He who raises hand against divine right is not worthy to walk this world. And what about you, who poisons the Virgin of Eden? Firstly, Saskia is alive, so no one can blame me for her death. Secondly, you have no proof that it was I who tried to murder her. Mm -hmm, and indeed. thirdly, I assure all gathered here, I won't rise above the law. However, only she, the Virgin of Eden, Oh, can that judge is a Connie! deck move. And if Saskia won't get well, who's gonna judge you? I believe she can be cured. But if the gods decide otherwise, we'll summon a coven of the wise who can pass just sentence. Those are words worthy of a true sovereign. Hmm. I am the one you should look to for guidance. Oh, Let no, my deeds be the flame that lights up your darkness. Hmm. A lynching would be a bad idea. The prince has a right to a fair trial, no matter if he's guilty or not. Which is we true. can't deny him that. What will the peasants do if we hand them the prince? Will they hear him out? No. They'll hang him from the nearest tree or tear him limb from limb. What will happen if we allow a lynching? What if people see that might makes right? Who'll guarantee they won't desire to avenge their wrongs, real and imagined? Who'll protect people whose only fault is noble birth from the exasperated mob? <laughs> and where will it lead? It will lead to random murders in the corner. In the name of justice, with inverted commas. The peasants are furious. They didn't dare mount a frontal attack. But they haven't forgotten about Stennis, and won't. It'll be that way until Saskia regains consciousness. She won't keep order by strength alone. Unless it's a great strength. Hmm. We need an authority figure, and royal blood. Five courts go to waste in the Dwarven dungeon at the moment. There's also Henselt. Going into that haunted mist is madness. Stealing Stennis away would be easier. No. Anything involving Stennis will cause a riot. I've Indeed. had enough of the peasants and nobles barking. Saskia's the best leader I know. But she can't hope to defeat Henselt's army with this rabble. Which is why I'm going to get reinforcements. Where? Okay, so Four I guess we're gonna have to cross the mist. Wait in hiding to the east. Time to summon them. You'll make it in time? I must. Okay, well, good luck. Uh, we'll see you soon. But yeah, a lynching will not be any justice at all. I mean, he's not, she's not died yet, so you can't exactly say he's Italian. Or Italian law, i.e. an eye for an eye or tooth for a tooth. Uh, I guess we have to talk to Triss Marigold. But waiting for now is probably the best idea to see if he is actually guilty, because we've got... Uh, ta uh, Tenuous evidence at best. Sorry, hey, I was trying to find the word there. Like anyway, uh, royal blood. Obtain son of Henselt's blood. Yeah, we now have to go to Henselt. Uh, find the priest's house. The walls have ears. So, Cecil, I need to go and talk to you. Whereabouts are you? Oh, bugger. Greetings. Greetings, dwarf. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to Greetings. talk to Hazel, so... Greetings! Anyway, as I was saying, like two or three times now, we'll just go and talk to, uh, Cecil Burden quickly. It's up this way, I believe. Uh, no. I'm going horribly the wrong direction. Hmm. I'm very sorry. Give me a moment while I try and get my bearings. Down this way, yes? Then over this way? Yeah, that's way okay. So yeah, we'll go and talk to Cecil Barton. And yeah. See if we can get an entrance into that uh Priest's house, there. My mind's just going south there. Anyway, uh Where did Radovid live? I need to know where Reverend Olkin used to live. No, Reverend hmm. Olkin even. Simple. Let me show you on the map. No it's about right here. Mm -hmm. See you. Bye bye, Governor. You too, um, Alderman. 
In the meantime, I'll quickly get uh, meditating. Character. Um, I'm tr where do we get the reposts again? Ah, yes, there we go. To counter opponent's blows. Perfect. 10% <laughs> chance to instant kill from a counter attack would be very nice to get. For now, that's all we would like. But seriously, that can be extremely useful. Right, so where is this house? Evidently not anywhere near here. Huh. Okay, um... Wait for events to unfold, Dr. Philippa. Mm, I guess we need to talk to Philippa pretty much at this point. Yeah, I'll talk to Philippa. Oop, this direction then. I don't know where the hell, um... The priest's room is. I mean, that's mildly disconcerting that they didn't What's tell this? me. Clad in hues of green, amid shrubs he seen, <laughs> I remember this, it's funny. A bored squatel waiting in ambush? I love it! Oh, a bored skelly. Oh, oh. Hmm. <laughs> Ha! Well! Enjoying yourselves? <laughs> I've got no web on us! Tris, but the mist disrupts the megascope. There's a weak signal nearby, probably on the other side. Oh, of course it is. You'll have to pass through the mist. Um. I'll go then. There's no time to lose. I'm continuously scanning the battlefield. I'll show you the way through. I'll find you when you enter the mist. Okay, Farewell, sure. Then. We still need royal blood. I know. Hensult. <laughs> we need his blood, not his death. How Why many times do I have to tell you I'm not a kingslayer? Okay, so cross the other side to the spe of the spectral mist. Hi there! Um... How does a magical course... How much does a magical course cost Just out cost of curiosity, how much does a magic course cost these days? I'm certain you can't afford it, Oh, you? shut up. Besides, you're too old. No matter. I have a few of my own tricks as it is. <laughs> you mean <laughs> witches' signs? Hmm. Philippa can conjure up the illusion of a garden full of flowers. Okay. Fruit trees and young elves of both sexes copulating merrily all the day. And the illusion is complete. The flowers have an aroma. The fruit and she-elves are juicy. <laughs> Invite me over the next time she conjures up this garden. I'd gladly see it. Professional curiosity. Naturally. But I doubt Philippa's in the mood for complicated illusions. She focuses all her efforts on Saskia. Hmm. Okay, I heard you're interested in the wild hunt. Oh, Very oh, interesting whoops. phenomenon. Sorry like about. all mysterious things. Willing to share what you know? Well, I would be. Provided you found the notes of Morton Collis first. He devoted almost his entire life to researching the hunt. Indeed we did. We could go into detail if you had his scribblings. Ah, uh, I found the notes. I found Morton Collis's notes. So, let's see what you've learned. Well, there are a few documented facts. But Collis notes the existence of plenty of myths and legends. Very true. Where shall we start then? Um. The direction of the hunt's movement. First please. and foremost, Collis studied the hunt's movement. Oh, it's well known that the wild hunt moves north to south, never in the opposite direction. That's what I remember, and Collis's research confirms it. I'm just having trouble understanding why that is. The retinue's trajectory brings it into our world at the North Pole. Thus, once here, the wraiths can only move south. Hmm, interesting. When does the hunt Collis appear? Collis claims the hunt's appearance can be predicted by observing the Orcan Nebula. And eclipses affect how often it appears. In any case, it arrives on the winter solstice, though not necessarily every year. Collis calculated that the hunt slips into our world in those years when the nebula is in the eastern sky. Hmm. 
Interesting. Um, the hunt abducts humans. When I pursued the hunt, I passed through many abandoned villages. Well, the wild hunt abducts young people. What for? Indeed. The race might need workers, warriors, or meat. Collis seems to favor the slave theory. Yeah, I think that's probably the theory. Uh, the hunt is an omen People of war. People say the hunt's appearance is an omen of war. In our times, wars are so frequent, we might even consider flights of honking geese as their harbinger. Yeah, true. The hunt traverses our world in winter. Wars usually break out in spring. But only because rulers wish their soldiers to die in battle, rather than of cold. Um, why do sorcerers think... What's the, the sorceress's take on the hunt? The topic makes them or uneasy. What do they think Since the council and conclave banned the use of mind spells, the wild hunt has been a taboo topic. Oh? There's some link between mental spells and the cavalcade? Both addle the brain. Anyone who has come in contact with the wild hunt has experienced mental instability that huh. either takes the form of insanity or amnesia. You see, the race emit a magnetic field that severely distorts perception and impedes brain functions. Hmm. Interesting. Let's summarize Let's then. summarize. Based on his observations and calculations of the wild hunt's movements, Collis arrived at two equally important conclusions. The first was that the hunt is made up of knights who perished in various worlds and have reconvened as a retinue of vengeance. Hmm. His second hypothesis states that an unknown, extremely powerful force multiplies race whose task is to travel between worlds in search of slaves. Both theories seem probable. Each time someone runs into the hunt, the wraith's magnetic field causes their mind to descend into chaos. By inference, another meeting with the hunt and its field should reverse the effects of the first. Oh? What? Perhaps. Someone who lost their memory or their mind on their first meeting with the hunt could recover either on the second meeting. <laughs> but hmm. I'm afraid that's unproved. Anyone who has yeah. managed to escape the wraiths would rather die than meet them again. There's so, no, that's you completely can lose unfinged. or recover your memory by meeting the wild hunt. Do you know something I don't? I have amnesia, but my memory's been coming back since a certain event. Since when? Since I killed a spectre, the king of the wild hunt. Hmm, I'm very doubtful that I managed to kill the spectre, but sure, we'll go with that. Who are you? I'm Cynthia, a mage in training. Philippa is my mentor. My condolences. No need for that. <laughs> True, she's a demanding mistress, but she can also be charming. And the sex Besides, is brilliant. She's the best oh. there is, Witcher. She has no equals. Excepting, perhaps, the old elven sorceresses. You should see her cast spells. Light and graceful she is. Not like <sighs> that old tart de Tanzaville. Okay, you know Sheila. You know Sheila? I've seen her cast spells. I've seen all the great sorceresses at work. Oh? Sheila's quite manly in her style. <laughs> Precise, logical, exceptionally composed. But she lacks grace and suppleness. Is that your opinion? Uh. Or are you just repeating what Philippa says? We agree in our assessment. Triss Marigold, on the other hand, is talented. But she lacks determination, courage, and a certain cold willfulness that seems necessary. That's interesting. Kira Metz and Margarita Lo Antiel are both blasé, seemingly resigned. One's a hedonist and nymphomaniac, the other cares only about her school. <laughs> they lost enthusiasm for magic long ago. Then there's a Francesca Finderbear. Nobody really knows what the old she-elf is capable of, but she's clearly very powerful. Hmm. I take it Philippa has none of these flaws, but she must have some weakness. Ambition. Infinite. Boundless and burning like the Korath Desert. Okay. Well, take care. Uh, see you around. Ooh, hello. Don't mind me. Um, see you around and enjoy your day. Hmm. Ooh, hi. No. I saw a book in the wild. Way, way, uh, I saw a book. There we go. Ah, the Dun Banner. <clears throat> the Dunbanner rose to fame during the last words of Nilfgaard, the kid when he light cavalry regiments. Initially, it patrolled the area around Bran Glen. Called to the front, it proved its mettle during the incursion to Upper Edarn. But it was the chroniclers of the Battle of Brenna who made the unit famous. Because history likes to repeat itself, 
Several years later, the Dunbanner once again led by Hen led Hensel's Flory into Edern. This time, it suffered a crushing defeat at the hands of an ostensibly a Stenshel ally. Ostensible ally. No less the sorceress Sabrina Glavishik. Uh, disseminated beyond resurrection, the unit was never deformed, uh, reformed, and its characteristic cloaks and beaver skin caps, which once bred terror in the hearts of Kidwini forces, uh, became the thing of the past. Though they remain uh, identifiable by the marks, of which the unit's few surviving former members recognize one another. Ha. Huh. Okay. Well, we got uh, Philippa Eilhart's medallion. Okay. That's so we can uh, be spotted in the mist. Hmm. What else is there in here? More money. And uh, more money. Ah, oh, you're rich. Shouldn't matter if I steal all this money. You're so rich and you got so much money. It doesn't matter if I take some. <laughs> but anyway, um, hello there. I wouldn't mind a close. I wouldn't mind a closer. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't remember about the nose. That's why I'm laughing. Oh, I'm probably going to be doing the thing the off-screen. Ah, uh, the dice again off screen, like usual, because it's really not anything fun to watch. Ah, uh, so I need two hardened leather. I need oil. Damn it. Uh, so I need two hardened leather, that's slightly annoying. Yeah. Well, okay, well, I'll we'll get to that I later. Had a dream. We were mining up at the face of the drive, like okay. in the old days. He had a dream! I'll, you know, just ignore you for now. Cross the other side of the spectral mist. We'll do that later. First, I want to find where this one is. The walls have eyes, apparently. Um, I'm gonna guess he was in here. Um... Or, actually, I think I know where it is. I think it's actually outside of the city. Um, quite close to where that she-elf is. Don't try anything. Ooh. Fine, I'll not try anything. Ooh, I feel so threatened. Hmm. Maybe not, then? I don't know where his room is. And I feel terrible for that. Uh, let's see. Is this? Oh, this is it. Okay. I guess. No, it's not because this is the wrong one. I wasn't thinking about this one. I was thinking about the one next to it. On this side. Ah, uh, key's still required. Huh. So I guess that's not it. Anyway, I'll be back in a second when I find something uh, else. Okay, welcome back. I think I know where his house is now. I went and looked it up. I'm, you know. Just because it's like, where is this house? Oh. Bunch of books. Hi there. Don't mind me. Nothing interesting. Oh, really? Interesting. The conjunction of the spheres, we've already played around with that. Uh, leather and cloth. That's not what I need. I need oil. Uh... Ooh, Octane's note. Ol Olusane's notes, you know. Uh, oh. Okay. A dragon consuming its own... Or some kind of serpent consuming its own tail? Interesting. Huh. Well, I guess I'll get out of here. Hmm. The plague! I guess we'll wait for events to unfold, as it says. Ah, uh, it's not much to do right now, is there? Uh, the harpy one I have to wait for. Also, I need to buy another trap for it. Um, 
uh, talk to Philip, I guess, will be the next one. And then after that, in the next episode, we'll probably travel through the mist and see what's there. I got a serious career Nothing proposal. good in store for us. Did you? you? Your best lads, eh? They tried me too! <laughs> uh, but anyway, Philippa, I need to talk to you. Yes, I do! Also, I feel like I'm gonna sneeze for some reason suddenly. So, Someone's talking about me! Oh, yay! Sneezing! Woo! Ah. So, hello there. You wanted to discuss something? Um, I found a magic crystal. I found one of the ingredients for Saskia's cure. Show me. <laughs> Interesting. Getting warmer, but still not there. Uh -huh. It's as if I'd sent you to get me the sun and you'd brought me a candle. We need something massive, an item of real power, Geralt. This okay. is a dwarf's dream. Stolen and magically encased in this crystal, it would do if it was stronger. You know what this hmm. means? In addition to normal harpies, there are Solano in the area. Solano. Indeed. Dream snatchers. The only harpy species to develop something resembling intelligence. They magically bind dreams to mountain crystals. I heard they once inhabited this area. Solano live among regular harpies, but their lair should be full of stolen dreams. One mm -hmm. of those would be powerful enough, I'm sure. You'd have to enter the harpy lair through the quarry. Unfortunately, the gate to the caves is locked and Cecil Burden won't open it. Oh, I asked him on another okay. occasion. Stubborn as a mule, that one. But we must not relent. Indeed. Saskia clings to life by a thread. Let me show you the desire contained in this particular dream. Don't be hasty to judge. Okay. There's a dream yes, after I can all. feel it. Whose dream is it? Cecil Burden's. In that case, I need to see the Alderman. Got a feeling he just might open the gate for me. <laughs> I have no idea what the thing is. Oh no, I need to go and see about the Immortal. Hey, Philippa. You wanted to discuss. Well, obviously, I came and talked to you, didn't I? I found an Immortal. Excellent. Oh. Wow, there's going to be a shortest conversation option yet. You wanted to discuss something. At the council, you mentioned artifacts were needed to undo the curse. Exactly, yes. Hmm. But I can't look for them now. I can do that. Why? I have my reasons. Tell me something. Um... What happened three years ago? What happened here three years ago? Henselt attacked Edurn, but met his match. Nobody won that war. Sabrina Glefesig got into a conflict with the Commander-in-Chief of the Kedweni forces, and this led to both armies being rooted. Fireballs turned the battlefield into a flaming tomb. Henselt accused Sabrina of using a forbidden weapon. And Sabrina cursed Henselt? I think so. I suspect the curse got out of hand because of the circumstances. Circumstances? The stars weren't right, wrong phase of the moon. There's always an excuse for simple bungling. She placed the curse while burning at the stake. Her hands and feet nailed to a wagon wheel. I'd say she did a good job, considering. Hmm. Uh, no anything about blood curses? Know anything about blood curses? Do you? We're dealing with a fourth level curse, also known as the curse of the Archmistress. Well, well. I'm impressed. Thing is, until now I thought it was only a myth, that such a curse couldn't be cast. You thought wrong. There are six confirmed hmm. cases of this curse being inflicted. Okay. What about confirmed cases of it being lifted? One. Achieved by a team of sorcerers led by Archmistress oh, Francesca Oh, well, that's just Kinderbar, brilliant, isn't hence it? Hence the curse's other name. Sabrina Glevesig was on the team. Small world. That's not all. The curse investigated by Francesca and Sabrina was designed to end the Tyson dynasty, the rulers of Kovir. They hmm. were cursed by Scarlet Rodelega, a complete madman, but very talented. An eclipse and wraiths also accompanied his curse. So hmm. Sabrina's curse is just a knockoff Rodelega. Effectively, exactly. yeah. Uh, what, uh, what did Francesca learn? Can Francesca's anyway? experience help us? Certainly. I know the symbols and the workings of the curse thanks to her. Care to explain? I'm the one risking my neck. 
You'll have to relive the battle and change its course at the right moment. Mm, okay. I don't know exactly what will happen. Nobody does. Huh. I'll look for those artifacts. Uh, not all the ghosts were aggressive, did you notice? Did you notice? Not all the ghosts were aggressive. Yes. Most just disappeared when they touched the aura of a living person. I think oh. the curse corrupts the ghosts of the fallen and turns them into draugers. Is that the witch's professional name for wraiths? Draugers are demons of war. Yeah, it's they arise different. at sites of exceptionally vicious, bloody battles. Their bloodlust and hatred in condensed form. Can you kill them by conventional means? No, you need a silver sword. sword is enough for a draugr, but as long as the curse remains active, new ones will arise. The soldiers' ghosts are the key. If I could turn the tide of the battle, for that you'll need symbols of war belonging to those who fell in battle. Hatred, death, courage, and faith. Okay, we've All artifacts got must be magically leave. active and connected to the fallen, or they won't lure the ghosts. Right. I'll look around. Finding two will be enough. Get the symbol. I'd prefer oh, courage sorry. and faith. Don't fuss. Hatred and I'll death. see what I can she do. Said. Cecil seems to know a lot about the area. Uh, I know enough. I'm good for now. I'll let you know when I learn something. I think I've got courage, though. I could be wrong. But Cecil, I need you to open a gate. Um, actually, we'll find Cecil first. But what I wanted to, because it's kind of lost its allure right now and charm. We'll put that back on. <laughs> later, later, I shall surprise you again with it. Ha ha ha! Yeah, probably not. <laughs> it's just really silly, but I thought it'd be funny. Anyway, hello there, Cecil. Um. Haven't you gone overboard with Stennis? I think you might have gone a bit too far with Stennis. Mummy spent too much time pampering him, so he thought he could do anything he pleased. He got what he deserved. Well. Maybe it'll all blow over, or maybe there'll be another war. History's like a coin that falls out of your pocket. You never know where it's gonna roll. <laughs> um, uh, da, 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 da. anyone took part? I know anyone who took part in the battle three years ago. Cecil, do you know anyone who fought in the war three years ago? I did. Did you fight here at Vergen? Of course. Philip claims you know a bit about the battle. That old kook insult, called king by some, thought that Adernians were bumpkins who'd ship bricks as soon as his troops crossed the river. Why did he attack Edern? According to Hensult, Upper Edern is the ancient legacy of the Kedwini crown. Okay. And must be returned to the mother country. Brazen farter. That brazen farter had a point. If you read some history, you'll know that 300 <laughs> years ago, this land belonged to Kedwin. Lord of Crab. 700 years ago, the elves reigned here. And a million years ago, these lands were the domain of the worms. If things weren't that way, every king could invade a neighboring land and claim his right to do so because an ancestor took a dump there. <laughs> All right. Hensel wanted to conquer Upper Edern. What then? He rolled in, got hammered. And rolled out. Cecil, that doesn't help you. Yeah, me it really much. doesn't. It wasn't a battle. It was a slaughter. If I try speaking of it, I'll see it all again. I don't want. The ghosts of the fallen fight in the mist. They turn into horrible creatures called Draugrs. Edernians, Kedweni, men, elves, and dwarves too. Bloody hell. No peace even after death. Indeed. I want to help them, but I need to know more about the battle. Very well. Listen. A beautiful day that grew hot later. Very hot. <laughs> when Van der Grift attacked in the afternoon, he sent the Dun Banner at the fore. Many of our lads shit themselves at the mere sight of their standard, but we had a surprise of our own. Under the cover of night, we prepared fire pits. Our archers lit them up at the right moment. I still can't believe we managed to fool their scouts. If it wasn't for that ambush, we wouldn't be speaking today. Mm -hmm. They likely wouldn't be in Upper Edern at all. We decimated the Dunbanner, but that was only the beginning. Seltkirk was our commander. Everywhere he appeared, the Kedwenis gave ground. He wreaked havoc among them. Hearts rose at the mere sight of his armor. Then, mm. Van de Grift himself entered the fray. Seltkirk met him in the middle of the field. In the end, 
Vandegrift so that's why I need Selkirk. Vandegrift's sword for death. A terrible death that sent the Adernian ranks into disarray. I thought it was the end of us. Then the sky fell, as if the stars themselves had decided to avenge the death of a great knight. Fire covered the battlefield. Nobody sought the enemy. They were all looking for somewhere to flee. Yes. There were no more friends and enemies. Only the living and the dead. They say it was the doing of the Kidwini Sorceress who wanted revenge on Vandegrift. Could be true, as Henseld had her executed right after the battle. Um... Did you see the duel between the two of them? Did you see the duel between Selkirk and Vandergrift? I stood half a furlong from them. Never seen a fight like it. Probably never will again. They'd already met once, at a jousting tournament in Ard Craig. Selkirk won there. He beat on the visitor so hard he broke his sword. Selkirk was a true knight, hmm. the last of his breed. Vandergrift was so pissed off after that tournament, he hanged the smith who made his sword and ordered a special Wow. One. From a sorcerer. I bet he cut down low. Selkirk with that new sword. Vandergrift is dead. What happened to his sword? Sarskir's got it. Good thing, too. Only her hand can tame the hatred enchanted in that sword. After the battle, when the flames abated, the scavengers came. They stole everything. Imagine. Okay, Not so a we single need to, keepsake or Selkirk you know. in the whole of Edon. His brother babbles something about a gauntlet, but he's a lying dog. Yeah, anyway. Well, I'll have to help, uh, what do you call it then? Saskia, so we can get her sword. Uh, did you see the Kidwenny's cross? You saw the Kidwenny's cross the river? From afar. I saw Vandegrift leading 4,000 heavily armed men. Many a heart sank when we saw the elite bearheads or the armored banners from Adkarig. The Dun banner was in the middle. Veterans of Brenna. As soon as he set foot on Adernian land, Vandegrift climbed a hill and surveyed the area. As if it was his fief. Son of a bitch was as sure of himself as ever. <laughs> Upon spying him, <laughs> I remember the dwarves all dropped their trousers and showed him their asses. <laughs> and Selkirk stepped out in mm. front of us. His white armor shone in the sun. We were afraid a kid Winnie Arbalis would shoot him, but they too stood as if frozen. And Selkirk just looked at them and bowed ever so slightly. <laughs> Where did the remember start? anything from before the battle? As if it was yesterday. Henselt's troops crossed the Pontar the third day after the autumn equinox. Edon had good spies, so we were ready for them, and Selkirk lined up our troops along the hills. Our hearts rose at the sight of the banners of Wengerberg, Aldersburg, and Gullet fluttering in the wind. Knights and armored infantry side by side in our ranks. Even the peasants had their regiments. The dwarves were on the left flank. Over five thousand strong we were. Nobody caring about race or background, like never before. Only hmm. King Demavend was missing. But he must have had more important business than defending his country. Ha, huh. funny. Anyway, what happened to the Dun Banner? You can't the Dun Banner, Banner standard. You know. Hensel's choice troops, and not a one survived. The visitor sent them to their deaths. Refused to give them reinforcements. He was a monster in human form. Hmm. The men of the Dun were real swaggerers. Killed a lot of our lads, but for every Dunner, there were seven Adernians. They had no chance. Aye, we captured their standard. We buried what was left of them in the crypts beyond Vergen. Their standard lies with them. Worthy foes are to be respected, even in death. Indeed. I'm going to need that standard. Um, thanks, Cecil. I uh, you know what to look for thanks, now. Thanks, Cecil. That was helpful. I think I know what I need to lift the curse now. Madam Eilhard claims you need four symbols. The standard symbolizes death. Ah, Van okay. Griff's Hatreds. sword stands for hatred. What about the other two? I have a feeling Philippa has a handle on the rest. Yeah. Here's hoping you're right. Okay, so we got what we need effectively for that. We just have to wait for it to unfold. But in the meantime... Oh, no, no, no! I need to get you to open this damn gate. <sighs> hey, Cecil! Because you talked so much, I forgot. I need you I need to open to the damn gate. The harpy lair. No chance. I'll just open the fucking. I know all about the harpies. They steal dreams, collect them. I found one, but it proved too weak for our purposes. I need a stronger one. So I'm asking you nicely. Open the damn gate. Listen, Witcher. 
I want Saskia to recover, I do. Mm -hmm. But don't ask me to turn this town into a circus just before we battle Hensalt. My grandfather locked that gate for a good reason. Imagine if we could all go in there to look at those dreams. Dwarves, peasants, their Scoia'tael, Adernian nobles even. All seeing the desires of others. Terrifying. It would be the end of Vergen. What's more, That's legend why you has it, it the afterwards. oldest stolen dreams can become reality. And I don't want nightmares stalking Vergen's back alleyways come nightfall. Open it. I'll make it quick. Stop pissing me off. You're acting like a drunk suitor. No means no. Well, I've got no. a dream of yours. Don't know if I should mention this, but the dream I found belongs to you. What are you talking about? It's an embarrassing affliction, I imagine. Hell, even something <laughs> of a political liability in your case. Some might even call you a freak. You are the alderman. An ages old tradition is vested in you. On top of that, you now lead the preparations for Vergen's defense. You wouldn't dare. Imagine your ancestors carved in stone. Condemnation, not pride on their bearded faces. Who knows? Maybe you'd keep your office, <laughs> but you'd be the talk of the town for ages. And your nephew? Poor kid. I'll open the gate. I Good. promised Scalen's mother I'd be sober as a judge to the end of my days. And I aim to keep my word. I don't give a damn about ages-old traditions and piss on loose talk. But you're right. I cannot compromise Vergen's morale. You must bury this thing. The secret dies with you, never to be spoken aloud. Understand? What secret? I do. Thanks, Cecil. And good luck staying sober. <laughs> yeah, good luck staying sober. So, apparently he was just a drunkard and that's what it was. Um... Was it this key that he opened? If not... Yeah. I'll have to uh, go to the other gate, so I'll see you in a little second. I know we're starting to run a little touch over time, but hey! I may as well just finish this quest, because uh, I did promise that we'd, you know, at the start of the next episode, go through the mist. Oh? The plowing Hello. bird stole it. My dream is gone. And then what's the grin for? Night after night, I dreamed of my dead wife for years. Let's go for some liquor. Drinks huh. on me. Well, that's good. At least it can be helpful to some degree for mental morale. Anyway, I'll see you in a little second, as I said. Okay, welcome back. We're going to finish the last of this. With any luck. So. Ooh, what's this? Nothing. Okay, let's get that shield back up. No, that's not what I meant to activate. They have a semblance of intelligence, so I don't think that's going to work. Okay. Yeah, hit me. Just so I could deactivate that shield, you know. I was meaning to fling a bomb when I accidentally flung this, or dropped this. Theoretically, this is where the last of the harpies should be uh, to trap. Uh, oops, come on. Thank you. Ooh, hello. That's useful. Um, it's very hard to see like this. Ah, come on, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Ah, uh, Queen Heart, the Harpy contract. Take it. Go on, you know you want it. <laughs> nice. So we've gotten rid of another nest. Bloody abominations. That kid, we need armor. No, we don't need that. Ooh. How many more can there be? Take it, take it. <laughs> Boom. Boom! 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 Ha 
Come on. Go away. Thank you. So far so good. Cannot save it this time. We've got one more nest to get. Hopefully, with any luck, the last trap I set should go there directly. Hello there. You know what? Here, take that. Hee <laughs> hee. That's, that's a girl. Good job. Thank you. Thank you for being my bomb. Ooh, new ability called the Birdman. Okay. Yeah, just in case we end up getting slowed down, I'll not take that stuff right now. Okay. Now we could jump back up, but no, we're not doing that right now. Um. Oh, we have a stone dais. Oh. Hello there. The harpies could not produce this. A device for viewing dreams? Harpies couldn't have made this. The head of a king. Take it to Sheila. You know where. She'll give you coin and further orders. Heavy. How am I supposed to carry it through the forest? I won't be able to draw my sword. You'll go unarmed. In common clothes. Hmm. Try to sneak through unnoticed. But if anyone asks, you'll bring in the witch some sausages. You can see it a mile away. And it stinks of vinegar. I'll have to find a thick sack. Go on. Quit complaining. There's no time. Okay. Uh, we'll view them, uh, the dreams and find the most powerful one in a second. First off, I need to collect some, don't I? Ah, there we go. Ah, come on. Ah. Okay, good job. There we go. I uh, find the dream of the most powerful in the projector. Right, cool. So we found um, Letho's dream. Or we were shown Letho's dream, even. We'll continue scurrying around, though, for more crystals. There we go. Yeah, hi there. Don't mind me. I think after I find the most powerful one, the harder it will turn out. Okay. There we go. Anything else? Oh, we have a kid winning here. I'll take your money and I'll leave your armor. Your armor is not going to be worth any much. Okay. And I think this is a final path, and then after that we got all the crystallized dreams. Hi there. You could have just lived, but you know, you decided to attack. And that wasn't a very smart idea, was it? Ah, <sighs> fools. There we go. You know what? I should have done this ages ago, just for... Hey, this will make me lighter in the long run. 
but there, yes. Oh god! Jeez! Ow! That hurts! Dick! I'll take that stuff. Um, what's in the corner here? Ah, right, yes, the other uh, harpy that we killed. And finally, that. There we go. So, we'll view the dreams in the projector in a little second. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, welcome back. Sorry about that. But before we do anything, just in case we end up encountering what I think we will, I'm going to drink up! Uh, it's kind of a waste because I've waited so long, but hey, whatever. So, go! Glug, glug, glug. But yeah, I think I've waited a bit too far into this. <laughs> Please? No idea why I'm hiccuping. Hmm. Anyway. Hey! Die. Ah! Oh god, I didn't think there was this many. Get out of there. Well, we killed the Harvey Queen. Now we'll just contend the massacre. Oh god, of me! Holy crap! That ended fast! Mortally wounds for 296. Holy crap! No wonder! Jeez! I thought just some kind of freak, hey, I got hit by everyone at once, but no! 293! I should not have actually been so cocky. I should have backed out and then shielded again. Okay, well, that's the last time I underestimate those. He says, underestimating everything else so far. I guess she is a minor boss after all. Or a mini boss. Guess they'll never learn. God damn it. Ah Fine. Eat that. And again. And again. Then eat that. Fight amongst yourselves. With any oh. hee. <laughs> Go, fight amongst yourselves. For some reason, the adrenaline is not working. Bloody hell. Okay, I need to get some more things ready than just what I've got. Holy crap. What the hell did I get hit with? I guess Zarkanian Sun is probably the best uh, choice right now. I know, I'm flinging bombs like they're made of sweets or something. Or Zenzu beans, and I'm krillin'. Zenzu bean! Zenzu bean! Right, come on. Geralt, back on your feet. Okay. I want to quick save at this thing. Okay, here goes! Jeez. Come on! Grip, stay all to death! There! Oh crap! Back! Need to get out of there. I shield up again. Throw a couple of grip shots. Come on. There we go, you hit me. Go on. Why, you don't wanna? Go on, you know you don't wanna. 
Yeah? You wanna hit me? I just want this shield down. Hit me! Thank you. There was no trick, just the fact that I had a shield on. So, dream projector. I wish to view the silver crystal. What will silver tell me? By the gods, Kosa and Kosa. Oh, that's the Alderman. Oh, they'll I think. not find it there, over my dead body, horses. You'll never find oh. Master Baltimore's secrets. It's not far Ooh. now. And so Master Baltimore was killed. The green crystal. Or at least had the nightmare of death upon him. You're as beautiful as an elf, my lady. Come to me, my hero. Let's fuck in the barn. Ah, oh, the luck. I think I <laughs> Some to random to peasant's other. dream. Call them too. It'll be lovely. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Uh, what about the red crystal? <laughs> oh! The dream of a dragon. The Particularly the dragon that attacked us. Oh, that should be rather powerful. That should be rather powerful indeed, actually. Like, that dream's gonna be extremely powerful. Ah, uh, walk away, we found our dream. So we've got two ingredients for the antidote, now we just have to get a uh, hint to blood. And... Uh, uh, the Rose of Remembrance back. We should have got a... Uh, I think we from the Harpy Queen. No? Oh, I thought we would have got a trophy for the Harpy Queen, to be honest. Now, uh, find Baltimore's house in Vergen. I'll do that later, probably just before we end up entering the mist. I was going to start the next episode by entering the mist, but it seems that things are transpiring to stop me doing that. So, I'll be back in a second. What I'll do is I'll talk to Baltimore... No, not Baltimore, um... Cecil Burden, get a reward, and I'll see you in the next episode. So, I'll see you in a moment, and then, you know. Bleh. Anyway, I just got back uh, to Cecil, so hello there. I just showed you the harpy nest. the harpies? Aye, the flying rot. Well, they're destroyed dead. their nests. They won't be returning anytime soon. That's what I want to hear. You deserve a reward. Thank you. I do, don't I? Anyway, I killed the queen. Job done. I'm here for my pay. You killed the harpy queen. In that case, you've earned your coin. Okay, good. Anyway, I'm going to quickly get in the ground and, um, what do you call it? Find some skills that I need, or want. I'm thinking about actually getting Heliothrop as well. Because that scene's actually really useful for bosses and stuff where you cannot use, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the instant kill. The execution move. So I'm going to trace along for the Heliothrope, because that is a good spell. Uh, effects for casting, Prowess Vitality, that's probably what I'll do. And Yardan Traps, yeah. Okay, I'll do that one. Yardan is actually useful, it's just... I don't know, I just like the ability to actually do damage. It is a useful uh, sign in and of itself, but anyway. I'm going to leave it there, so until next time, all the best, and I hope you enjoyed.